Trinidad and Tobago, a Caribbean twin island country, is undergoing a wave of transformative megaprojects aimed at improving its infrastructure and economic prospects. These endeavors include a wide range of initiatives spanning various sectors such as transportation, energy, and tourism. The Trinidad Gas to Liquids GTL plant, which converts natural gas into higher value liquid fuels, is one of the ongoing projects. Furthermore, the Trinidad Rapid Rail Project, a proposed high-speed rail system, aims to transform the country's transportation network by improving connectivity between major cities and regions. Furthermore, the country is promoting tourism initiatives such as the Tobago Sandals Resort, a luxury tourism development that is expected to raise the island's tourism profile. These large-scale projects demonstrate Trinidad and Tobago's commitment to economic growth, infrastructure improvement, and diversification. They have the potential to shape the country's future landscape by attracting investments and potentially opening up new avenues for economic prosperity and development. Now let's get started with Number 11. Taco Valencia Highway The Taco Valencia Highway is a $1, 5 billion project to build a new road connecting Taco and Valencia. The roadway will be 30 kilometers long and will have four traffic lanes. The project should be done soon. The Taco Valencia Highway is an important piece of infrastructure that will increase connection between Trinidad's east and west coastlines. It will also create a safer and more efficient route between Taco and Valencia for automobiles. Thousands of jobs are planned to be created during the building of the Taco Valencia Highway. It is also intended to enhance economic activity on Trinidad's east and west coastlines. Number 10. Trinidad and Tobago Housing Development Corporation, HEC Housing Project. The housing initiative of the Trinidad and Tobago Housing Development Corporation, HDC, is a $150 million initiative to build 1,000 new dwellings for low-income households in Trinidad and Tobago. The HEC Homes Project is a large-scale project that will provide much-needed homes for low-income households in Trinidad and Tobago. The initiative is projected to have a substantial influence on the lives of these families and to assist enhance the country's quality of life. The project is also expected to create jobs and boost the economy. Number 9. San Fernando Point, EFT Highway, the San Fernando Point, EFT. Hui is a $1, 1 billion project that will enlarge and modernize the highway. The roadway will be extended to six lanes, and a new interchange will be built at Deb. The San Fernando Point, EFT. Hui is an important transportation route that connects Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad's south and west coastlines. The highway's enlargement and renovation will increase traffic flow and safety. It will also shorten the distance between San Fernando and Point Fortin. Thousands of employment are planned to be created during the development of the San Fernando Point Fortin Highway. It is also intended to enhance economic activity on Trinidad's south and west shores. Number 8. Trinidad and Tobago International Airport Expansion the Trinidad and Tobago International Airport expansion is a $500 million project to extend the airport in Trinidad and Tobago. A new terminal, a runway extension, and a new air traffic control tower are all part of the project. The project is scheduled to be finished in 2025. To meet the expanding number of passengers and flights, the Trinidad and Tobago International Airport must be expanded. The new terminal will have a capacity of up to 2 million passengers per year. The runway expansion will allow bigger planes to land at the airport. The new air traffic control tower will increase efficiency and safety. Number 7. Point Liza's Industrial Estate Expansion the Point Liza's Industrial Estate Expansion is a $400 million project to expand the Point Liza's Industrial Estate. The expansion includes the construction of new factories and warehouses, as well as the expansion of existing facilities. 
The Point Lazes Industrial Estate is a large industrial park that houses several petrochemical and manufacturing firms. The project is expected to be completed in 2024. The Point Lazes Industrial Estate is one of the largest industrial estates in the Caribbean. The expansion of the estate will create new jobs and opportunities for businesses in Trinidad and Tobago. The project is also expected to boost the country's economy. Number 6. Port of Spain Waterfront Project The Port of Spain Shoreline Project is a $2 billion revitalization project for the Port of Spain Shoreline. A new cruise ship port, a marina, a public park, and a pedestrian promenade are all part of the project. The project should be done soon. The new cruise ship terminal will have a capacity of 2,000 passengers. The marina will provide space for up to 100 ships. The 10-hectare public park will have gardens, paths, and a children's playground. The pedestrian promenade will run along the shore for 2 kilometers. The Port of Spain waterfront project is expected to create thousands of jobs during construction and operation. It is also expected to boost tourism and economic activity in Port of Spain. Number 5. Trinidad and Tobago National Stadium Renovation The Trinidad and Tobago National Stadium Renovation Project is a $100 million renovation of the Trinidad and Tobago National Stadium. The rehabilitation comprises installing new seats, constructing a new roof, and updating the drainage system. The redevelopment is anticipated. Participated to increase the stadium's quality and suitability for hosting international sporting events. The initiative is also intended to generate job opportunities and benefit the economy. Number 4. Trinidad and Tobago Public Transport System Upgrade the Trinidad and Tobago Public Transport Infrastructure Upgrade is a $50 million initiative to improve the country's public transportation infrastructure. Purchase of new buses, restoration of old bus terminals, and installation of new traffic signals are all part of the project. The project is anticipated to increase the efficiency and convenience of the public transportation system. The initiative is also intended to generate job opportunities and benefit the economy. Number 3. Trinidad and Tobago Light Rail Transit LRT System The Trinidad and Tobago Light Rail Transit LRT System is a $1 billion project in Trinidad and Tobago to build a light rail system. The system will include two lines and a total of 20 stops. The lines will connect Port of Spain with San Fernando and Arima with Chiguanas. The LRT system is a massive endeavor that will have a considerable influence on Trinidad and Tobago's transportation scene. The system is designed to alleviate traffic congestion, enhance air quality, and provide a more efficient and comfortable mode of transportation for country people. Number 2. Construction of new power plants, rehabilitation of old power lines, and installation of new substations are all part of the upgrade. The project is designed to improve the dependability of Trinidad and Tobago's energy supply, minimize blackouts, and expand the capacity of the electrical grid. The initiative is also intended to generate job opportunities and benefit the economy. Trinidad and Tobago Water and Syringe Authority Upgrade The Trinidad and Tobago Water and Syringe Authority Update is a $300 million project to update Trinidad and Tobago's water and syringe infrastructure. Number 1. Construction of new water treatment facilities, restoration of old water mains, and installation of new sewage systems are all part of the upgrade. The project is designed to enhance water quality in Trinidad and Tobago, minimize water loss, and improve wastewater collection and treatment. The initiative is also intended to generate job opportunities and benefit the economy. These are just a few of the top ongoing mega-projects in Trinidad and Tobago. I hope you enjoyed learning about these exciting projects. If you did, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.